Hi, I'm Joe, and this is a day in the life of a shipwright at the New Zealand Maritime Museum. Come and have a look. I get to work about 7.30, put the radio on, then I open the laptop. I've uh, got to check the weather because that's going to set out what we're going to do for the day. Today the weather's looking pretty good. Get out there and do some painting, varnishing, uh, do some sanding on the cap rail and on the masts. So my job as a shipwright is to look after the vessels that we have in the water here. Pucky, for instance, is 150 years old, so she needs a lot of love and attention. So it's good just to come down and check the lines after some of the weather like we had last night and make sure you know they're still well connected and no signs of any new chafe or wear, just to make sure the boats are going to be safe. One of the things I love about working at the Maritime Museum, the chance to work with all the different timbers that are on the boat, a lot of them native. Some of them are exotic, just uh, can't always get the native ones um, that we need anymore. All right, so now it's time for lunch. Uh, so I normally just jump back into the workshop, grab a quick bite, a cup of tea. After lunch, I'll check back in with the Wednesday All Boys. They're our volunteer group that come in every Wednesday. They've been volunteering at the museum for a long time. Check that they're happy with the tasks that they're doing and uh, they're making good progress. Get back out there. This is a note left by the master of the boat during the sailing on Saturday. The foremast topmast above the cross trees, starboard wood rattling, lashing insufficient. So maybe we'll have a look at that today. It's four o'clock, it's the end of the day. Uh, time to pack up, lock the boats up, make sure they'll be all right overnight and we're out of here. Thanks for joining my day in the life at the Maritime Museum. <laughs>